everyone. Mary Nespresso Press Design. Welcome. On September 26, 2024, thank you for joining me today. Another rainy day. Today we're going to do part four of the Easy Distress with 50-50 alcohol and water. And a new technique um, and I've just been exploring it as I am prone to do when I find something new I like to learn about it learn what I can do with it um, and then take it to the ultimate as I can uh, see what the uh, new mediums all about and um, just explore and have fun and this is going in trash to treasure first new products <coughs> old paper which i mentioned in yesterday's video um a reworked kit it's on Shopify and Etsy, 45 pages on Shopify, 15 pages on Etsy, but even on Etsy you'll get a nice little collection of assorted papers. And look at that, even a rusted paper clip in there. So that was from some papers that I really loved and but wasn't really happy with the kit, so I just redid it in a new configuration, and now I'm much happier with it. So that's that. And today, this is what we're going to be doing. A couple of quick thank yous to Teresa and Elaine, which I forgot yesterday. <clears throat> thank you, uh, Teresa, for taking the time to write all those kind reviews. On Etsy I know you don't have to do that and I appreciate that very much so I'm not going to go over um, the applying things to bases and things like that but what you'll need today is wrapping paper and I actually did go out shopping it's better if you have something with a white background. I couldn't find anything. Went through all of my old stuff. And uh, I don't know. One didn't work so well, as I said. It depends on the wrapping paper. If it's good quality, you're not going to be able to remove the ink. Surprisingly, it did work on book pages, which are supposedly better quality, but it did work. So I'm guessing <clears throat> it's like everything else. You're just going to have to experiment. Magazines work really well. I even dove into my antique vintage wrapping paper, and we're going to try one of those today. Not sure if it's going to work or not, but this Dollar Tree wrapping paper definitely worked, so that's what I'm sticking with. Here's another example of one that did not work. And I almost dove into my Christmas paper with snowmen because there's always white and there's always color and there's always contrast. So that would have worked great, but I just thought it was a little too early for snowmen. Maybe I'll do it later at some point. So you'll need your embossing folders, your bases. Um, I'm not going to go over applying things to the bases. I'm using book page today for the base. On all of these, our book page, and I already have three prepared. 
So all we have to do is the alcohol. And if I have time, I'll go over my other idea, which is just a quick little thing. I don't think it's going to require its own video. So I already have mine prepared. Oh, and you'll need a couple of candles. And you'll need a craft iron or an iron. And that's my that's my new thing I got. I was searching for craft irons. I could have swore when I began putting them in my wish list there were a lot more brands. And then when I went to buy one, um there were two brands. Each of them had a lot of bad reviews, so I just went with a mini travel iron, spent the extra money, don't like that it doesn't have a regular handle, but I suppose I'll survive, but yay, I have my own little iron for in here, don't have to bring in the big iron, shake the table, and do all of that. So, you also might need a towel or something. I'm using an old watercolor block base to protect my mat, my glass mat. And maybe I'll just put a towel over it. Don't really need it yet, but that's what you'll be needing today. And your 50-50 water alcohol mixture. So I would suggest going back to the parts 1, 2, and 3 if you want to learn what we're doing today from the beginning. And we're going to be doing something like this. Hopefully you can see that. Let me stand up here. So it's part distressed and then it's part waxed. And that's why I said the um, it's better if you have something white and that's also, you know, white on the back so that you can get that transparency. This paper, I don't know what happened. Either the paper's old or I began to scorch my glue. And this wrapping paper, I mean it distressed a little. But this is probably 30, 40 years old, and the ink just did not want to come off. So it's going to depend on your paper. Oh, and you'll need a soft cloth. <clears throat> so first we're going to do the distressing. And my cloth is getting <laughs> really, 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 really grungy here. And uh, book page, you might want to spray the cloth. But I'm just going to spray the first one, spray the paper, because that'll give me a head start on removing this ink. And I used an embossing folder with a lot of words just so I could um, have it show up. Yes, and this, this paper is so chintzy, it's removing on spray too. So. I'm going to say Dollar Tree paper works really well. <laughs> and um, you're not going to see the distress on the... You're only going to see it on the places where there's the image because it's not going to show up on white. So keep that in mind. I don't know. I This... This technique with this sanding paper, I think it's called something like no stamp, no ink stamping. And 
and I just I do not like that um, I do not like that sand the feel of that sanding dust all over my table all over my hands so I just said better living through chemistry and I already knew from my homemade washi that alcohol dissolves ink in magazines that is so I just thought I would try it and it worked usually by spray three you're going to get a lot of ink coming off and if my cloth was white you would see these colors coming up on my cloth this pink red wine color and then you can also spray your cloth and just apply a little more pressure so I think we're about there for the distressing maybe I can get a little more off that word love okay there we go Put that aside to dry a little bit and then try this one. This is also probably 40 year old paper. I don't know if it's going to work or not. We'll try. I just couldn't find anything suitable. Wrapping paper was pretty sparse. And I, I, you know, I went just out of curiosity. But I don't even use wrapping paper anymore hardly, so I didn't want to buy it. I don't know if this is going to work because this paper had kind of a waxy surface on it. And these colors aren't exactly... The blue is dark enough, but that's about it. I don't know. I don't really. Let me see if I can find a semi white spot, see if anything is actually coming up. Oh, very light. Very lightly coming up, slightly. Not much. Okay. Let me try another spray. Usually by the third spray, the ink is pretty well dissolved. I'm not, I'm not seeing that much. I'm not seeing that much, and this paper is pretty fragile because it's so old. I don't know. I'm going to say this is probably going to be a fail. 
so I might have to do something else with that. Yeah, I don't see that coming up. Okay. So that just goes to show that um, it doesn't always work. Okay, let me plug this iron in. The only drawback is this iron does not have a shut off button or an auto shut off, I don't think. So that's a drawback. So, just going to let that heat up a minute. I'll never use it with steam. And I did go to Dollar Tree and get my own parchment and wax paper. The parchment doesn't feel like the parchment I usually use. And the wax paper doesn't really look like the wax paper I usually use. So, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I thought I would buy my own because then it's always disappearing. So okay, yeah, you'll need a you'll need a piece of parchment to protect your iron. I forgot to say that. This feels waxy. Does it feel like the parchment I used upstairs? Okay, so we're just going to heat our paper. Don't press too hard because you don't want to um, press out your emboss. Yeah, I mean, you won't entirely, but anyway, at least you shouldn't. Don't press too hard. It's not hot enough. Turn that up. But yay. I can't wait. Can't wait to play around with this. No more going to the laundry room to do my vellum. No more shaking the table if I have to demonstrate something here with the big iron. I just have to make sure I don't burn myself. So we're going to go over the white spaces with our wax candle. And then we're going to get those words to show through. And I tried to look up the person um, I saw this. I'll put it in the description. I wasn't logged in and then <clears throat> of course they sent a code and I didn't feel like going upstairs to get the code. So I'll just put that in the description. Give credit where credit is due. <clears throat> One of those other crafting brainiacs out there. Thought that was a fabulous idea. As she was using it to make stuff look vintage. It's not really getting. At the max. I shouldn't put a piece of foil under there. Keep it hot. Maybe there's no text there. Maybe that's why it's not working. Well, if you want, you can go over your letters. If you want words to show up through your letters, your white letters, your white 
embossing is what I mean. I'm just going to go up through there where I know there's texts. I think that's scorching. Maybe it's scorching the glue. I don't know. It didn't happen on the other one. But it's happening here. Maybe I don't have any words up there either. Any texts? I thought I tried to choose a book page with not a lot of paragraphs so I could get as much text as possible. I think I'm into the white border because I left that in too. Let's see what we can bring out here. And then I just took my Deco Edge cardboard and my uh, metallic marker. Oh, there's all my text at the edge. Now the paper's hot. Well, I don't see any text there. I don't see any there. So I'm just getting minimal amount of text here. I really don't want it showing through the red, but it is a little bit. I think one more time will do it. And then I will unplug this iron so I don't burn myself accidentally. So there we go. It's a nice combination of techniques. Looks very pretty. Okay. Let that cool down a second. Unplug my iron. Where are we? 24. There we go. Turn that the whole way down to get that out of arm's reach. Let me show you that. There you go. I'm going to turn it this way <coughs> with my arm. That's probably how I'm going to use that. Maybe as a pocket, I don't know. But for now, I'm just going to show you the border. And make sure you can see that distress on the red, mostly. So you just have to find the appropriate paper, you know, then it works better and you're going to get curling. So you have to uh, be aware of that. It feels like glassine. It doesn't feel like parchment to me. Okay. Let's get this, get it trimmed out a little bit, put a border on it. And then that's technique number four. I 
don't think I have another one. So we'll be moving on. did learn one thing. I don't think I'll be doing three videos a week. <laughs> that was, that's a lot of work. There's people on every day must, must have a staff. I didn't sit down until, well, I got a late start, but I didn't sit down until 1030 last night. So let me get a magazine. And what color did I do that? I did that in gold. Okay. That's the one thing I don't like about those pens that you can't uh, put the cap on. So I just took my homemade deckle edge. And put a pretty little gold border on there. I didn't even care if it was rough. No, not, I mean not all colored in is what I mean. So it's kind of distressed too. And it also actually looks good only on one side. I think I did that on something. If you don't want to go the whole way around. Okay. I hope I don't have to buy these. That end is really getting chewed up. Hope I don't have to replace these soon. <laughs> this is one of my can't do without time savers like my decorative punches, my circle punches, etc. This is also a good way to hide questionable textbook pages. can't believe I didn't get any on my wrist. Okay. So there's the little gold distress border. And there's the distressing on the pink red, which will show up better in the photo because my lights bleach everything out. So I did this on a book page. And my thought was, I don't know if I'm going to do it to this one because that looks nice. And it goes together with the picture. So I might do it on this one because this is really just a piece of junk. So I was thinking... These would make really cute for those book pages that I'm not going to use it for anything else. I don't mean, you know, text book pages. I mean color book pages. 
I was thinking this would make some nice little kind of like abstract charms. Maybe abstract tabs. So I'm just going to see what I can get out of here by chopping these up. So, I'll probably keep the word smile. I'll probably go two by two. And just see what these look like, kind of like a abstract little piece like that and then I might even do a couple circles let's just chop this up how we think it looks good well, I'm not going to get the whole word word wonderful so might as well Cut that in half. And that one has a boo boo. Paper came off a little. Just little things like that that you can use wherever and then see what happens if I do a couple of circles see what that looks like Might as well create more trash to treasure while we're at it. Oh, I know I definitely want that flower, so. Something like that. Know if that's going to show up at all because it's on white, but we'll keep it. Let's see what we can do with that. One more tiny flower, and that's probably about it. Almost. <laughs> that almost jammed. Might as well get another one while we're at it. Okay. So that's the end of that piece. Won't have that lying around anymore. Okay, let me get a piece of paper here. Lay these all out. Here's my other good one. That's the one I did before, and this is the one we did today. It needs placed under a book, and then I just chopped up the old book page, made some little some things. And then here's another one on a book page using the letters again. And I'll put that in the photo because it matches. Okay, everyone, 36. I think that's going to do it for this particular series. I don't 
don't think I can come up with anything else at the moment. So I think that's about it. Remember 50-50 alcohol water. Magazines work the best. Book pages do work. Other papers like wrapping paper, it's hit and miss. And I did not that's all I tried. Magazines, book pages, and wrapping paper. Okay, thanks for your time, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.